Athena Swords is a card that is like a check-in from your angels and your guardians to kind of get you to assess where you are. When we're looking at the card, it looks a little bit stressful because what we see is a female that's tied up, tied up who's blindfolded. The skies are gray, which indicates that the seeker is maybe a little bit anxiety, confusion, not sure where to go. What's happening though is this is actually a really beautiful card because the guardians are actually saying that you can free yourself. You, The swords are surrounding this person. Remember, the swords are thoughts. The thoughts that are surrounding the seeker, she feels trapped, she feels stuck, she's not sure where to go, what to do, and she's just in her thoughts. She's in the energy where maybe thoughts keep repeating, they're sort of in a circle, and she doesn't know how to break free. However, what we see here is that the same thoughts that trap her, or that she feels trapped, can free her. She's tied up, but all the swords are not threatening her. They're all pointed into the ground, so they don't mean to harm her. They're just surrounding her. It is in her ability to turn around and to use one of the swords to free herself so she can walk away from the thoughts. What's happening here with the Seeker is the Guardians and the Universe are stepping forward and they're saying, okay, you've taken the thoughts to where they can go. Now what's happening is that they're accidentally becoming a bit of an energy block. You're un you may feel that you're unable to move forward. You're not sure what direction to go. You feel stuck. So this is an energy where be still, free yourself from energy that is not serving you, and move forward. Because when we look at this card, we can see in the background there's a beautiful castle behind there. And in the message of this card, that castle is actually hers. That is her dream life. That is the life that she deserves to live. It's all right there. You just have to free yourself to go there. And when we look at the water on the ground, we see mix water mixed with mud and earth. It's an energy where things are more balanced than what she realizes. She just has to free herself from energy that is not serving you. Serving her, sorry. Additional notes of the Eight of Swords is the Guardians are saying step into your power. It's okay to be undecided right now, but bring back your power and know who you are. It's also to an energy to free yourself from thoughts that are not serving you. So if you're in an energy where you feel that your thoughts are more frustrating or focusing on more of what's wrong than what's right, free yourself from it. There's an energy here where be your own hero. It's sometimes what happens with this card is that we'll see this come up when someone is expecting someone else to do the work for them. Like if it's like, okay, well, why is my partner here? Why isn't why didn't I get my dream job yet? It's an energy where it's like, okay, take back your power and create a space for your partner to find you. If you're looking for your dream job, create a space for you to step into that energy to get your dream job. And whether if it's taking an online course, reaching out to potential coworkers. Very important not to underestimate yourself and very focused and very important to focus the energy on your positive and your skills. This is also to the universe and guardians asking us to be accountable for our actions. Are you happy with your behavior? Are you happy with the work that you're giving to manifest the life that you want? Are you, for example, if you're single and looking for someone, are you happy with the work that you're doing to create a space for your partner to find you? Are you happy with yourself creating a space or nurturing your career to create the life that you want? You want to look at that energy and see, are you clear and happy with that? If you're asking Carol for a general message about what the aura is around, this can come up saying that you, they feel that you feel stuck. You're not sure where to go forward. They're asking you to be still, to focus on your thoughts, what you need to free yourself. It can also be a sign that you feel indecisive. You're not sure where to put your focus. And sometimes it's just an energy where it's okay to be still. It's okay to rest, recharge, and let energy clear so you can find the path for you. And sometimes that aura to clear is clearing our thoughts. If you're asking about business or career, it's an energy where maybe don't make a decision yet, just wait for a second, be still. Things need to ground before clarity comes to you. It also too can be a sign that they could be in a role that they're, they don't feel fulfilled, they don't feel recognized, they don't feel the respect, respected, and it's an energy where it's about taking back your power to create either a new job or make a decision, do you want to stay in this or do you want to go somewhere else? This is also to a sign, especially with career, that you need inspiration. You need something to 
kind of ignite your fire so that you can go forward and create more work for yourself. It's also too, can be an energy here where you feel stuck in a rut at work and you're not quite sure where to focus. If your seeker is asking about a romantic situation, if the seeker is single, what, they're, what this indicates is that they may feel unsure about a potential partner. They're not sure what to do. And it's an energy where it's best to kind of be in the moment, not time to make a decision long term, to sort of be still, feel it out. It's also too an energy where they may feel stuck in a dating situation. And also too, a lot of times this comes up when they feel st tired of being single. They're ready for partner, they're ready for romance, they're just sort of tired of the situation. So again, it goes to the aura where it's like, okay, what are they doing right now to free themselves or create a space and then redirect the aura in there. If the seeker is in a relationship, it can mean that it's time for some things to change up in the relationship. It could be time for more fun. Often it's usually a sign that the couple is just sort of in a rut and it's trying time to start something new, find something that inspires them. They may feel stuck in a situation. It could be an external aura where maybe one of the partners feels stuck in a career job that is not their cup of tea and it's impacting their relationship. They're not sure what to decide for the job. It's more about time to focus on clearing energy and finding out where they need to go. Also too, in a partnership, this can mean that they both need to rest and recharge. The Eight of Swords is ruled by air. Air has is the element of communication and thoughts. It helps us think things through and define our plan. So with the Eight of Swords, what this means is that the zodiac signs that rule air are Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. And the zodiac sign that you want to pay attention to for the moon is when the moon goes into Aquarius. Aquarius helps break free from energy that is not yours. So when the moon goes into Aquarius, whether it's a new moon, full moon, waning moon, or waxy moon, which will be another class, it's a sign that will be the energy where you feel free of the indecision, where clarity will come to you. So you want to keep an eye on where that aura is coming in. The number eight the numeric influence is number eight. So eight is a number of strength. It's also to the energy as above, so below. It means that you have a divine power to manifest the life that you want. The eight of swords is presented to a seeker when the universe feels, hey, they, they need to clear some energy here. It's getting a little bit overwhelming and they need to take back more of their power to clear it, to free themselves. My personal interpretation of the Eight of Swords is a message from the Guardian saying that, hey, you got this, no more stress. It's kind of like a gentle kick in the pants that, hey, clear this energy, it's, it's okay, we're going to get you to somewhere else. And we feel stuck because they're making us be still so that we can deal with it, so we can deal with our thoughts, deal with the energy, and move forward. This energy, I always call it the snow globe aura because often the seeker, they feel very confused. And as a reader, it's your duty not to stress out the seeker. You just want them to redirect the aura so that they can find the path out of this to get them to find the way. Encourage them to rest and recharge and to give themselves give themselves that permission to rest if they need, you know, a night where they order a pizza, watch Netflix, that's fine. It's just what they your job is to get them to be mindful, not to be still and not to think of what's going wrong. Get them to focus on their power and to free themselves of energy that's not them, theirs.